हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू शॉर्ट हैंड बैटल आई एम दिव्या एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिक्टेट यू अ लीगल पैसेज ऑफ अप्रॉक्स 650 वर्ड्स एट द स्पीड ऑफ 125 वर्ड्स पर मिनट सो बी रेडी फॉर द डिक्टेशन थ्री टू वन गो इट वॉज अर्ज दैट द पटिशनर हैज नो ग्रीवांस एज ही वॉज नॉट रिसाइडिंग एट द प्रिमाइस इन क्वेश्चन एंड ओनली एन X judge was residing who exerted his authority in getting the registration under the Sarais Act cancelled it was urged that the grant of registration under the Sarais Act was a matter between respondent number 3 and the authority as well as the petitioner or his brother had no locus standi to raise any objection it was alleged that the brother of the petitioner used his influence to get the registration cancelled this assertion in our opinion is patently erroneous and bereft of any merit there is not an iota of evidence brought on record to indicate that any kind of pressure or influence was exerted by an ex judge of this court upon the administration in cancelling the registration the petitioner had a locus as well as a right to object to the grant of registration under the sarais act and after the grant when the terms and condition of the registration certificate was violated with impunity the petitioner had every right to object and pray for cancellation of the registration on the other hand the court finds that after the cancellation of the registration certificate by the authority respondent number 3 initially took a legal recourse by filing a writ petition in which an interim order was granted by the court but subsequently respondent number 3 withdrew the writ petition to enable him to approach the authority based on which a review application was filed which was rejected by the authority and the matter came to an end thereafter after the expiry of 6 months the record reveals that a recommendation was obtained by respondent number 3 from a powerful state minister as well as from a local member of legislative assembly based on the recommendation from the minister the matter was reopened on the second review application of respondent number 3 when no action was being taken on the second review application the state minister again writes to the authority directing him to pass orders and not to make it a prestigious issue on this basis the order of cancellation was recalled without giving opportunity to the petitioner from the evidence that has been brought on record it is apparently clear that there is no evidence filed by respondent number 3 to indicate that the brother of the petitioner exerted any kind of influence upon the administration on the other hand there is sufficient material to indicate that the impugned order has been passed at the behest of the politicians upon pressure being exerted by them the respondent number 3 asserted that the petitioner was also running a marriage hall in its premises under the name of lakshmi narayan vatika this allegation has been vehemently refuted by the petitioner the petitioner contended that there has been a partition in the family and a portion of the land has gone in the name of his nephew who is running this marriage hall these facts have not been refuted by respondent number 3 nor any evidence has come before the court to indicate that these facts are incorrect further nothing has been brought on record to indicate that any resident made a complaint about the running of this marriage hall by the nephew of the petitioner which was in violation of the government order of 2012 or under the act of 1973 it was contended that no review application lies as there is no provision under the sarais act for filing a review application 
it was also contended that in any case a second review application cannot be filed on the other hand it was contended that there is always an inherent power of the authority to review its order and that the second application was not a review application but was a representation for reconsideration of the matter which was permissible in law stop